Hi, I'm Wolf Van Halen from Mammoth WVH, and I'm at Amoeba, and this is What's in My Bag. We could start here. I am, I'm sure people are already sick of hearing about how of a crazy Mushuga fan I am. And if this isn't a good representation, here are two of the same record, but they're different colors, which means I need to, <laughs> I need to get them. <laughs> Mushuga is my favorite. It's funny, there was a story that came out where it said, uh, like, Mushuga puts me to sleep, and that was taken out of context. I said I can fall asleep listening to Mushuga, which is a compliment because it relaxes me. It brings me, it brings me peace, it brings me zen. As a, as a drummer first, um, I tend to intake music in, in a more rhythmic manner. I'm all about rhythm, and Mushuga is rhythm just, it's, it's like dinosaurs fighting. And then I saw that there were others. Uh, Nothing, which is probably my favorite Meshuggah album. It's where they really started getting sort of groovy and sludgy with their sound. Um, a lot of people like the one before, uh, Chaos Sphere. Amazing album too. It's more thrashy, but I really like their groovy sort of sludgy aspects. And this one is all sludge and groove. This was two before. This is just another great album. All right, let's keep digging. Foo Fighters, but here we are. This is a very um, emotional album. I love the Foo Fighters. If anybody is familiar with my music, uh, Dave Grohl is like who I want to be when I grow up. And I'm 33, and I guess, I guess I'm not grown up yet. Everything I did on my first album for Mammoth WVH, yeah, I played everything on it, and uh, just like he did for the first Foo Fighters album. And so he's just always been an endless uh, inspiration. And then losing Taylor, which was just the worst. Like this, this whole album is just very emotional. I really like the teacher on this album. It's about uh, Dave's mom. What's the plan for tomorrow? Where will I wake up? Where will I wake up? <laughs> he sent me a video in his car of his radio, and my song "Distance" was playing. told me that it was a beautiful song about you know losing someone and he actually uh, sent me the, the song The Teacher and he said I wrote this about my mom and it's like music is a really healing way to go through trauma and uh, just like my music uh, is a way was a way for me to navigate a lot of trauma you can hear that in this album I really really love it show me how to grieve show me how to say goodbye And then, uh, how do I pivot from trauma to Blink-182? <laughs> <laughs> so I am a huge Blink-182 fan. Uh, I started playing drums when I was nine years old. Um, and the two albums that I played to were Anima of the State by Blink-182 and Van Halen's Best Of Volume 1, which my dad named thinking that there wouldn't be a volume two, so he just thought it was funny. But yeah, Enema of the State, I, like Travis Barker was a huge inspiration uh, early on for me to learn how to play drums. I, I learned everything front and back on that album. And uh, the numerous times that Tom would leave and they would break up would just kill me every time. Um, when he came back the first time and they did Neighborhoods, I saw both shows and it was amazing. And so now that they're all back together, it's just a very nostalgic, comfy thing, especially since the first track is Anthem Part 3, which is like continuing 
that first song from uh, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, uh, which is also the best album title ever. And it's cool that Travis uh, produced it. So one more time. Now this surprised me. Um, an original or light wear pressing of, of, of Abbey Road. Like it's not the 2019 remaster. Like, was this a mistake? This seems way too cheap. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. This album helped me through a really dark time, which I'm sure is, is probably dumb to say, because I think everybody has probably said that at some point, but I think that is just a testament to how great the album is. I think I Want You, She's So Heavy is like, for the time, like one of the heaviest songs ever. Heavy's in the title, but I just love, like that was like metal before metal kind of, and I just think it's such a heavy, awesome song. <laughs> And here comes the sun. Here comes the sun was the song we had played on the piano when we, right when we, when when my wife and I got married. George is my favorite Beatle. I don't think he's everybody's favorite, but he's my favorite. And here comes the sun is his song, and it's like one of their biggest songs. I, I think that's just kind of cool. I don't need to praise, yeah. You know. People should talk more about the Beatles. They're so great. Why doesn't anybody say anything about that? This, I just loved uh, the first uh, Crosses album. I haven't really listened to this uh, one at all. I didn't even know it was out. Um, I pre-ordered it on, uh, on iTunes, but uh, I did not know it was out, so I had to get it. Are you a Deftones fan? I am. I am a Deftones fan. I saw them in 2015 when I was on tour in Chicago. Um, it was the co-headline tour they did with uh, Incubus. And I came as an Incubus fan and I left as a Deftones fan. Still an Incubus fan. Incubus was great, but I wasn't too familiar with Deftones. I only knew a few of their songs and they were incredible. And I actually got to hang out with Chino that night too, which was cool. He's a really, really, really nice guy. And then that's when I discovered the first Crosses album. And uh, I believe, what, the song, the epilogue, which was like the main single from that first Crosses album. That got stuck in my head for like a month. It was the only song I listened to. So I loved that first album and I'm stoked to see that they made a second one. Crosses, good night, God bless, I love you, delete. This, we actually just came out with this. This is the Collection 2, the vinyl repressing, remastering of uh, all of the uh, Sammy Hagar Van Halen albums. Not to delve into the exhausting argument of which singer is better, I'm kind of of the mind where there's positives and everything. And, uh, you know, if you hate one side or the other, it's like, hey, you know, the same guy wrote the stuff. <laughs> you can really find stuff to appreciate. And I, I really appreciate the melodic addition um, that Sammy added to uh, the band with this music. I think it allowed uh, my dad to explore a more melodic uh, style of songwriting. And uh, there's great stuff on here. You can get that now. I actually never got a copy. <laughs> so I'm, uh, thanks. <laughs> it's just a great band, Turnstile. They are very hot right now. This album kind of blew them up. And I just love the album cover. I love the color pink, it's my favorite color. Um, and they rule. I would listen to them while playing like Tony Hawk. <laughs> They're just like awesome, punky, but heavy. You know, songs like uh, Blackout, Holiday especially. Holiday I think is my favorite. Never feel the cold. 
it's just heavy. It just makes you want to mosh and, and, and jump around. Uh, Turnstile is just great. I don't need to tell you, everybody talks about how great this album is. So. This I just saw, Add Violence. <laughs> Nine Inch Nails is one of my favorite bands of all time. And uh, they did these three EPs. This was the second one. I don't have this on vinyl, so I got it. Cause uh, I really like, uh, I think the song was Less Than on it. That was like the main single, it's a good song. And last, and least, because I wanted to talk more about these than my own stuff, I wanted to pick this up uh, because uh, for record sh record stores, it's a special yellow color, and I did not get this one. This was my band. <laughs> when uh, my first album came out, my friend Garrett uh, just picked me up, and he was like, hey, we're going somewhere. And we went here to Amoeba to buy uh, a copy of my album in the store, and I just thought that's a really fun, uh, cool, a uh, lucky thing to be able to do. It's a very uh, surreal experience to go to your favorite record store and buy your own record. So that's what I wanted to do for the last thing today. And, We're so uh, happy to have you. Thank you so much. This is a, a just a ridiculous honor. Hey, what's your fear?